but yeah. you want bits, big si bits. Size of casters is a yep. good, good way to describe it. So I've mixed that now in half, just get rid of them pellets. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to split this in two. Okay. Okay. And that's probably 20 inch. Yep. Um, so it is, you can see it's quite a shallow yep. lake. It's only about three and a half foot down the middle here. So going through the actual rig, I'll start with the elastic. This time of year, this orange hydro is perfect. Yep. So that's on the market to start. Yeah. I don't want to be right against the bank because I don't want the fish feeding horizontal. Yeah. I want them to be actually tailing up. So I just want to get as close to that bank, about an inch. Perfect yeah. size. Yeah. Because it holds the correct amount of bait. Yeah. I can always squidge it in a bit more if I want to get more bait into it. Yeah. Hopefully that should be about the right amount of bait. Okay. So I'll drop it in. Because it's quite stodgy, it almost moulds into the pot into yeah. a little pot. Yeah. So I'm going to start. See how they're not coming the peg as quick? Yeah, there's, yeah. There's one there now, yeah. but they're not dashing into the peg. Yeah. So I'm able to sit there for a little bit longer, but hopefully I won't foul up one this yeah. time. It's mad how much that difference that makes. It's like yeah. nine in, everything's the same apart from where you drop it from. Yeah. Where